Who, who, y'all ain't ready, y'all ain't ready. Yeah, 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 y'all ain't ready, y'all ain't ready. This is the Mount Rushmore. And what is this show exactly? So this is a show where I give y'all my top four. And this isn't necessarily no order. This is just me giving out my top four. My, my, my greatest four, the best four, whatever it is, I got four of them. So for this episode, we are doing most annoying characters in TV show history with the bad guy himself, Kenny. All right. So when I say most annoying characters, it's just characters is just on the TV show. You just, oh, they, they, you love to hate them is the best way to describe them. So I don't want to say most. You just love to hate them, whether they were intended to be that way or they just happen to be annoying. So before we give up my top, my top four, I'm going to give you the honorable mentions. I got three honorable mentions, though. The first one, this girl is just completely annoying. And I, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm going with Kim Bauer from the hit TV show 24. Now, she, now if you know the, the premise of the show, Jack Bauer, he's a, I think it's CTU. I haven't seen it in years, by the way. So I think it's CTU. He's dealing with terrorists. And he's trying to, he has 24 hours to stop the terrorists usually. And it gives you everything that's going on in his life for 24 hours. Literally 24 hours, they don't sleep. For some reason, he don't sleep, shit, piss. You don't see him do none of that. He's just running through 24 hours. And and it, and it goes, um, it, it's in real time. So if you're watching it, it goes along with the commercial breaks and everything. When it comes back, it's like, okay, we got this much time left. It's, they, they do it in real time. It's cool how they do it. But he's trying to deal with these terrorists. And this girl, she's like, oh, you know, let me just get drunk and 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 go and go over this person's house. Like, so she's like 15, but Chris is like 14, 15 years old. Let me go over there and get drunk and get in a situation where I got to deal with this. Or let me just, I know my dad's trying to be a terrorist, but let me just call him and be a dick for no reason. It's like, it's all, she's always in some shit. That's the thing. She's always in some mess. And it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to go deep, deep into everyone like this, but especially with the honorable mentions, but like I said, because this is intended to be a shorter show. <laughs> so like I said, at most, we try to, I'm going to keep it below 10 minutes. That's my goal for each show. Just a quick little review. Um, review. Um, next one is Tariq from Power. Tariq St. Patrick, man. This little nigga. He drives me insane. He's another one just like Kim Bauer. Always getting some mess. Uh, this one, the dad's a drug drug dealer. And he's just just bold. The bold. That kid that be talking shit to his dad. And I hate that. I hate that so much with children. Especially in these shows. They just too mouthy. You be like, shut up. That's why you want to just shut your ass up. You want to hit him in the lip one good time. Not advocating beating kids, but it's just like, bruh, stop. Leave me alone. <laughs> that kind of thing. He's just drives you crazy. The next one, last honorable mention is Fiona from Shameless. Now, I know she's supposed to be a good character, but she's another one that is such a, she's just plays victim. The first, I think I want to say the first two seasons, she was cool. You understood her struggle. She's trying to be both parents because both parents are not in the kids' lives. The dad's a, the dad's doing every drug known to man, drinking. And then you got the mom who, if I remember correctly, she was had like the most extreme case of bipolar. <laughs> like the most extreme case of being bipolar ever. Like she was insane. Um, well, I don't even say people with bipolar is insane, but like she was tripping. That's what I'm gonna say. She was tripping. But she had to do it all. But then, like, after a while, she Fiona starts putting herself in situations to where you're like, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not to spoil it. You're like, bro, what are you doing? And she's just like, ah. And she had an ugly cry, too. She was like, ah, I'm sorry. I just thought that. And she puts the kids in danger more than enough times. And it's just, that character from the first two seasons is dead. Like, after that, she just starts going on a downward spiral that's just so ridiculous. But yeah, she's another. That's the last honorable mention that's like, ugh, stop this. So now, the top four. The first one. Um, first one is Skyler from Breaking Bad. And again, these are in no specific order. So don't be like, oh no, you got a number four. She's been number one. No, these are not in order. This is just my top four. The top four, like I think, I think these four people. 
Skylar from Breaking Bad is another one where the main character's trying to do what they got to do. This one's kind of like um, uh, Tariq. Dad's a drug dealer. Well, this one, it's, it's the husband, my fault. This one's the husband, a drug dealer. And she's just, just fucking up. She's just doing shit. Just stressing this man out. But, yeah, he ends up getting too involved to where he's, like, getting ridiculous with it. But she was just doing too much. And she was just so annoying. So just getting in the situation, you're like, ugh, stop. You get mad. And it just it drives me insane. So, yeah, she's the first one. Skylar. Skylar White. Number two is Chris Keller from the hit TV show Oz. Oh, my gosh. Now, I will spoil this one. So, if you've never seen the show and you plan on watching, I'm about to spoil it. So, you got five seconds. I'm, I'm going to say it. Okay. Now, I gave you I gave you five seconds. Now, listen. Now, Beecher is the main character for this show. And he was um, pretty much drunk driving, kills a kid, and the judge makes um, pretty much makes a name for him. Make a name for myself. <laughs> he pretty much makes a name out of him and puts gives him the max. So this man's going through it. This poor guy's going through it all through the show. Never he didn't like I said this. He was a mistake, but he's pay, he paid for it a hundred times over. It's like bro, I I learned my lesson. But with him, he ends up falling in love with another inmate by the name of Chris Keller. And this man, I gotta let you know why I put him in there. Like, so if you don't know, I got, this man did the most diabolical thing I've ever seen on the show. That was so evil, evil to another level. He's not number one still, but it's just this is just probably this is probably the most number one evil act though. So this this man was so toxic to him, and was like they and. And I never thought about this too. When, when you know, if you're in a relationship with the same sex, I'm not saying you can do this, but it's more acceptable if you're fighting. Like you're literally fist fighting. Like you, sometimes it's not just oh, oh, oh you just talk on that mess, blah blah blah, you know, going back and forth arguing. I'm like shut up, they, they, they just start swinging. Like sometimes, like it's, it's sometimes it's like that. And I thought I never thought about that. I was watching. I said I never thought about that. They could really just swing on each other and then be like. It is what it is. I mean, it's still abusive. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, I wouldn't say it's a slightly more accepted. I'm not saying it's accepted, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's not looked down upon as much because they're the same gender. But yeah, though, like they were, they beat each other up on the regular. Now this dude is he? If I remember correctly, he kissed him, and they were like near, near like he was. There was like a little like rail thing up there like a little bit like a little barricade not barricade what i'm looking for i don't know why i'm liking this word, word but basically they were like on the edge of somewhere they were high up they were high up and he's on the guardrail and then literally he kisses him he's like no beecher and, and throws himself off making it look like he killed him i'm like so you're that evil to frame him to keep him in jail longer you would kill yourself to do that's insane um the next one is but yeah so like i said that's why he's in he's just diabolically evil that was wild next one is shane from the hit show the shield now these are dirty cops and they're doing anything they do whatever they want it just is what it is. they do whatever they want and they get away with it but <sighs> this this dude he was doing too much him and his wife you watch it you understand i'm not gonna spoil it but you watch it, you understand um last one this this is okay now i will say i'm not gonna do this for everyone but this one right here he deserves number one king joffrey from game of thrones it not only is he evil because you got characters like ramsey bolton you got um all these just different evil people on there you got little finger all these little evil people on there but he not only is he evil he's a child doing this He's a child just making these evil moves. And you just like, wow, you're really doing that? Insanity. But yeah, you just gotta watch it. You'll see some of the heinous things he does. But I'm gonna end it right here. That's my top four. If you don't like it, leave your top four. It is what it is. Bad guy, out. <laughs>